What is going on, everybody? This is Greg from Odd Shopper. Hope you guys are having a good week. We've got an interesting baseball slate to break down on Thursday, mostly afternoon games. So I'm going to try to focus on the night games, but there are some good spots that I like in some of the later starting afternoon games that hopefully you guys could get to before those games start. Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave a comment below. I want to know what it is that you guys are betting on today. We had all different kinds of bets in the chat yesterday. A lot of people were on the Cubs. They won pretty big, but leave a comment. I want to know what it is that you guys are on today. Also, shout out to BetMGM sponsoring the show today. If you guys want some free money from BetMGM, you just sign up using the link in the description box below or sign up using the promo code OSMLB and they're going to give you $200 for free when you bet $10 on any MLB money line. That is all you have to do to get $200 for free in your pocket. And I'm also going to give you some of my favorite bets of the day that you could spend that $200 on. For my first bet of the day, I'm looking at under three and a half strikeouts for Jason Alexander. And there's been a number of weird strikeout props that I've highlighted for you guys this week. And I understand the three and a half number looks low, but it's actually high. If anything, we have this bet winning a fairly high percentage of the time. And also, if you just look at the strikeout rate for Jason Alexander, he does not generate any swing and misses 8% K rate so far for Alexander, which is one of the main reasons why, if you look at some of our projections, we have this bet winning nearly 80% of the time. So Alexander is a 29-year-old non-heralded prospect. He doesn't have great stuff, throws about 93 miles per hour, isn't working especially deep into games. And I know that people might just look at, hey, a 2.42 ERA, but the underlying numbers, a 5.35 expected ERA, it just doesn't hold up. There's no reason to think his ERA should be this low. I mentioned an 8% strikeout rate, he also has a 9% walk rate. So this guy gives up hard contact. He walks a ton of hitters. He doesn't strike out anybody. It's a bad recipe. And then you also consider the matchup against the St. Louis Cardinals. They have a right-hand dominant lineup, and they are better against lefties than they are against righties. But they don't swing and miss against right-handed pitching. The Cardinals have one of the lowest strikeout rates in all of baseball against righties, only 20%. The only team in the National League with a lower K rate against right-handed pitching is the New York Mets. We have a pitcher that doesn't generate strikeouts against an offense that doesn't strike out. This seems like a pretty clear recipe for me to take an under first strikeout. So under three and a half for Jason Alexander. For my next bet, it's another stud starting pitcher where the strikeout prop is just too low. We had a couple instances of this this week. Yesterday, Sonny Gray, the over-under for his strikeouts was three and a half. Earlier in the week, we had Kevin Gaussman with an over-under four and a half number. And today, we have Joe Musgrove at five and a half. I really like the over here. We have Musgrove projected for 7.2 strikeouts today. And there really is no reason to think that his K number should be this low. Looking at Musgrove's numbers this year, starting with his game log, his recent strikeout numbers, nine against the Cubs, eight against the Rockies, six against the Brewers, seven against the Pirates. Overall for the year, six or more strikeouts for Joe Musgrove in 10 of his 12 starts. So he's hitting the over far more often than he's hitting the under. And Joe Musgrove has low-key been one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. So Musgrove this year, 1.59 ERA, 2.54 expected ERA. Great real-life pitcher, great fantasy pitcher, great for overs on his strikeout props too. 26.3% K rate. So really, really strong numbers for Joe Musgrove. And I just don't understand how this strikeout prop came to be five and a half. I referenced our projections and how often we have the overhitting. He's a matchup against the Phillies, which while sure, they are a good offense. At the same time, Musgrove's pitched against good offenses this year, and it's never really limited his strikeout numbers. Look at some of the other elite offenses he's pitched against. I mentioned the Milwaukee Brewers, who struck out six batters. The Atlanta Braves struck out six batters. The uh, Atlanta Braves again earlier in the year, six batters. So even in tougher matchups, he's pretty consistently been at six or more. I like getting the over on this number. I wouldn't be surprised to see it move to six and a half because while it's five and a half right now at some books, there are some books that do have it set at six and a half. So if you see a five and a half number on Musgrove, bet it now before the line moves. If you guys check out Odd Shopper, we actually have a couple of different projection sources to find bets. Now, one is based off our personal projections, which is what our DFS projections come from. But we also have something called a sharp sportsbook lines betting model. So this is based off just some of the sharp betting lines using Pinnacle as a baseline for some of the stats. And then just comparing that to other sportsbook numbers and trying to find the best odds just by comparing it to a sharper sportsbook like Pinnacle that has lower VIG odds. So just using this process, I wanted to find some other bets to look at in addition to just our other projections from my own insight. So using the sharp sportsbook betting lines projections, one thing I land on here is Sheldon Noose under 0.5 
total bases, this has a 46% win rate, which, you know, is kind of close to 50-50, but there's plus money on the under at plus 125. So that's something that does make this somewhat of a viable bet just because we're getting pretty good plus money on a bet that's close to a coin flip. And if you look at the numbers for Sheldon Noose this year, they're not great. He's a 76 WRC plus. This is somebody who's not a heralded bat at all in the minor leagues and 27 years old isn't a ranked prospect in the Oakland days organization. He's going up against Robbie Ray. If you guys are playing DFS today, Robbie Ray is by far the chalk pitcher on FanDuel this afternoon. So I like taking the under here on Sheldon News. Like I said, hasn't had all that much success as a hitter so far at the big league level with a 76 WRC+. plus. He's a tough matchup against Robbie Ray. There's also a pretty good chance that Sheldon News gets pinch hit for at some point during the game. It's something that happens pretty regularly for him when he starts. And if he is in the lineup, it's usually towards the end of the order. So, you know, there's a chance that we see Sheldon News get a couple of at-bats towards the end of the order and then get subbed out. So I like taking the under here. We're getting plus 125 on it. Looks like a pretty good bet using some of the new processes that we have over an odd shopper. So to recap, I have three bets for today's MLB slate. I tried to make it some of the later games. But it was hard to because I just didn't think there was that much of good value. So hopefully the late afternoon games will still give you guys some time to be able to get these bets in when you watch the video. Jason Alexander under three and a half strikeouts. Joe Musgrove over five and a half strikeouts. And then Sheldon News plus money on uh, under 0.5 total bases. These all offer good value. But as per usual, I like to know what you guys are betting. So leave me a comment below and let me know your favorite baseball bets of the day. It could be anything on the board from a player prop to a money line to a run line. No run in first inning, yes run in first inning, whatever it might be. Let me hear from you below. Other than that, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and good luck today, everybody.